Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Squirrel Goes to School. The author is Do Tai Tan. The illustrator is Do Tai Tan. The translator is Alicia Berger. And the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read Squirrel Goes to School. Squirrel and Trang have been friends forever. They play together every day. So here are Squirrel and Trang. And they have been best friends for a really long time. And they play together every day. They always have the best time. So here are Squirrel and Trang having fun. They're playing, they're, they're playing hide and seek, they're playing other games. They always have a good time. One evening, Trang asks Squirrel to come to school with her. So what happens, Trang, one, one evening asks Squirrel, can you come to school with me? Why do you think? Because she just wants company. Also, she wants Squirrel to come and see her school. But Squirrel is scared to leave the village. School is so far away. So what happened? Squirrel thinks that the school is so far away and he's scared to go. He thinks there are all kinds of scary things and monsters waiting for him when he leaves the village. But Squirrel decides to go because Trang asked him to. The next day, before dawn, the two little ones start their journey. So finally, what happens? Squirrel says, okay, I'll go. Why? Because his best friend Trang has asked him and he doesn't want to say no. And so they leave very early. It's still dark. The sun hasn't risen yet because the school is so far, right, from the village. And so they have to leave very early. It's pitch black as they cross the mountains. So it looks like you have to cross some mountains to get to school, which is very far. And it's very dark. See, you can still see the stars in the sky. The sun has not come up yet, but it looks like Trang has a torch to show the way. Squirrel suddenly squeaks in terror. Oh no, beasts! So what happened? It's so dark that Squirrel can't see what's there and he sees something in the dark and he gets scared. He gets very scared and he thinks these are scary beasts coming to get him. Trang shines her flashlight at the bushes. She shows Squirrel that the shapes are only rocks. Squirrel feels lucky. So what happens? Trang is ready. She does this every day. And so she has a torch. She has a flashlight. And she sh shines the light at the bushes. And here you see, these are only rocks. They're not some monsters to be scared of. And here, this is an owl. It's not a scary thing. And squirrel feels lucky. The friends walk on. They meet a swollen river. Squirrel tells Trang, we should go back. 
so you can see that squirrel really does not want to go to school he is scared and so when they come to this river which is swollen it is overflowing with water and it's it's going to be hard to cross and squirrel immediately says that's it we can't cross that let's go back so what does trang do you can see here she's looking at the river she's thinking hmm how do i cross this and you see these rocks here what do you think she can do with the rocks she can cross the river by jumping on the rocks she has to do it very carefully because it could be slippery and wet they are brave but now squirrel is wet i want to go home he cries so squirrel and trang are now on the other side of the river trang was smart and brave and they crossed the river even though it was full and it was scary but now squirrel is wet so he makes one more excuse i'm wet now i don't want to go to school i want to go home to dry off but the sun is up now trang says you will be dry soon so what does trang say look the sun is coming up and you will just dry off in the sunshine i love this field squirrel says we don't have to go to school we can just stay here and play so here's the next excuse squirrel says this field is so beautiful it has all these flowers lovely grass let's just stay here and play we don't have to go to school no ran is laughing but school is much more fun than this trang says come on so trang is still trying to pull squirrel with her to school she says it's more fun in school come on you know you haven't seen it yet when you go there you'll know how much fun it is no say squirrel i won't go squirrel is now jumping up and down he just does not want to go he is being stubborn school is still so far away don't make me go squirrel is still not wanting to go because he says it's somewhere far away i i don't want to go squirrel trunk calls look so what do they see we made it so here you can see the school they could see the school from where they were and trang tells squirrel look it's right there it's so close let's just go all our friends are here squirrel can't believe it so when they get to school what do they see they see all of their friends from the village and squirrel sees his friends too in the trees and he is happy now this is great and so while trang is having her lessons at school squirrel is having fun with his friends squirrel wants to come back tomorrow squirrel loves school so now what happened completely opposite no now that squirrel has come to school he sees there are so many friends there he can have fun and because there are so many friends he's having more fun and so he wants to come to school again tomorrow and here are squirrel and trang having fun 
I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are Dawn, the time when the sun begins to come up. Pitch black, extremely dark. Squeak, to make a short, high-pitched cry. Flashlight. Torch. Try these questions. What did you learn from this story? Do you remember your first day of school or your first day going to a new school? Write down how you felt. <laughs>